In the cytosol of an eukaryotic cell, two types of ERF are present. They are ERF1 and ERF3. The ERF stands for eukaryotic release factor. The ERF3 is a GTP binding protein. When a ATS ribosome having a newly formed completed protein chain reaches a stop codon like UAA or UGA or UAG, the ERF1 along with ERF3.GTP enters the ribosomal complex probably at or near the A site and the ERF1 recognize the stop codon directly. The other name of ERF3.GTP is ERF3GTPH. The recognition of stop codon by ERF1 leads to ERF3 bound GTP hydrolysis to produce a GDP and a PI. Here the hydrolysis step acts as a proof reading step because it ensures that the previous step means the recognition of a stop codon by ERF1 has occurred correctly and then only it allows subsequent step or further steps to proceed. After the ensurement given by the hydrolysis that the ERF1 has correctly recognized a stop codon the peptidyl tRNA present in the P site of a ribosomal complex is added with a H2O molecule in presence of peptidyl transferase. Due to this addition reaction, the newly formed completed protein chain separates from the tRNA and released into the cytosol. Then additional release factors promote the dissociation of ATS ribosome. As a result, the 40S and 60S ribosomal subunits, mRNA, tRNAs, ERF1, ERF3.GDP are freed to carry out another round of translation. Please like, subscribe and share.